here right now because you know in your bones that the alt-right is the future. You know that white identity politics is ineluctable. You know that white identity politics is going to enter the world and that it is going to be a powerful force in the 21st century. In terms of being bloggers, no. They're just that a is the, one of the leaders of the so-called alt-right movement, Richard Spencer, speaking at Texas A&M last night, arguing that white people define this excuse me, this country has controversial views bringing out protests to the campus. Dr. Rick Halperin, director of the Embry Human Rights Program at Southern Methodist University. So is this a very small fringe group or is this, uh, as, as he portrays it, an underground movement that's been there the entire time, just underground? Uh, I think it's a combination of both, actually. They fortunately don't represent the majority of people in this country, but it is a constant in this country. This, these views, that mentality, the espousal of white privilege, whites only, of hatred, this has been constant throughout our history. We, it, you looked at what happened post-election, and there was that, uh, that seminar in D.C. Uh, at which we saw the, what, what looked to a lot of people like a Nazi salute and hail or heil Trump, uh, your, your, your choice of how you heard it. Um, they are taking credit for the election of Donald Trump. Well, I think Mr. Trump uh, clearly appealed to a certain sentiment. Uh, he was the aberration uh, to, for a candidate to espouse uh, incendiary and divisive language targeting certain groups. Of course, that will appeal to a small and vocal uh, portion of this country. But not enough to elect someone president of the United no. States. Clearly there was a much wider constituency that he was appealing to beyond these folks. Absolutely. Uh, it's disturbing. Uh, we can expect, I would imagine, four years of anything other than a united America. It, I can't imagine Mr. Trump uh, using language that will suddenly be very different from what he used in the campaign. So people such as Mr. Spencer, they will be emboldened for the next four years. And yet he says he is, it is his job. He has disavowed this kind of speech, which I, you probably find a little ironic after what you heard during the campaign. I do, and uh, I just don't, I don't agree with it. I haven't, uh, haven't seen it, and I don't expect him to change, I'm sad to say. Barack Obama, a campaign eight years ago appealing to a group of people who had been left out of the American dream. Donald Trump appealed to a different group of people who felt they had been left out of the American dream. Uh, and in both cases it was enough to elect a new president. Uh, it was, but this election, uh, of course Mr. Trump did not numerically get the majority of people to support him. He won the Electoral College uh, handily but the idea of an angry America, it's not hard to see this. Uh, people who wanted to see a continuation of civil rights, human decency, people who had felt marginalized and omitted from a previously all-white-led America, uh, felt empowered when Mr. Obama was elected. And now it's just the opposite. But there's, there is the Constitution, there are the courts. He, Donald Trump can say things, there are only certain things he can do. That's right. His language uh, doesn't mean it's going to be what he says it is or what he wants. He still has to deal with checks and balances in this country, whether he likes it or not, of right. course. Dr. Rick Halpern, thanks very much. You bet. Appreciate Thank you it. for having me.